Hi, everyone. Oh, looks like Karen's left a message. We'll catch us later. Hi, Angie. Thought I'd do something different today. Um, I thought I'd work on the scrapbook papers. Try not to use them, so I'm going to use the scrapbook papers. I think I'm using mostly antique roses. Hey, Sherry. From Minneapolis. Wow. I'm here in Wales in the United Kingdom. That's the little bit next to England. <laughs> Just so that we know. Hi, Kimberly. Wow, you've got quite a crowd with us today. Fabulous. Hey, Terry. New Jersey. Yes, I do too. I am a little bit of a scrapbook lover. I do a little bit. I'm just looking around. Let's see if I've got anything to show you. I'll just show you what I did with the Queen Bee papers. Um, so I did a little bit of um, stenciling on top, a little bit of stamping, some die cuts and flowers. Hi, Joanne. Hey, Tanya. Um, this is um, this Queen Bee papers. I did a mini album. Pockets and flops, flaps and flips. A little mem memo book. I'm going to whip through it. So I wanted to do more than one card today. Hello. I don't know who the Facebook user is. Doesn't tell me your name. Sorry. There you go. That's the end of that one. So, this is the bit I hate: is cutting the cards, cutting the paper. Such beautiful paper. I'm gonna cry when I do this. I'm just going to tear it. Try not to tear. The actual card. Ooh, 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 what a cry. Oh, really. When you tear it, the white will show whichever way you tear it. So I tear the other way. I just want to get that back. I tear it towards me and the white will show through again. I only need a little bit just to um, grunge it up a little because these have already got a little bit of grunge on them. So I quite like that. Hi, Marcia. Oh, see you in a bit. Busy as bees. Yes. <laughs> you could. Yeah, we do like a bit of grunge. Yeah, I'm not. Um, although these papers are very pretty, I'm not really um 
uh, a girly pink. I'm more of a vintage, grunge it up, girly. If any of you follow me, you probably notice that. And so then I've got a slight dark side as well. There you go. I'm trying to keep some of the brown because I want to keep that on there. Not the first one. Just do that one to start. Mm. Right, move that out of the way. Get my blending mat. Where will that might be? <laughs> Twinkles is a bit like me too. Hey, vintage designer. Hi. Oh, Sabine. Hi, Joy. Yeah. So, I start light. Obviously, I've uh, distress inks. Mm, Tell me, blender. All to hand, of course. And then I'm just going to push the edges a little bit forward. Oh, a little back, sorry. So that I, I don't ruffle them up too much. And then I'll go back the other way because I want this edge because I'm going to actually curl it on the page. I might let me put my glasses on. I've got a little oh, dark one there. It's not, it's not a fresh one. It's already too dark. There you go. You can see until all the white goes, we'll just keep going round. Bring all that colour in. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do for the background yet. I might find some pretty pink, pink paper. There you go. And then I'm going quite deep here because these edges will pop up. Eventually, oh, that looks lush. No, nope, no, I won't use that side. <laughs> Very tempted. I might use the other side of the paper actually. Yeah, just too tempted now. That means I'll lose two of these cards. So, which page? Two. No, 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 no. So glad I got two cents. I'm going to use that as the background paper. Right, so just so you know, that people in the UK tend to use big cards. Hi, Tammy. And the, re <laughs> the reason being, you know, when, when you're, you're young and in love and everybody, everybody wants to send um, a Valentine's card, the bigger the Valentine's card, the more you love somebody, apparently. So we tend to send bigger cards. I'm just gonna put on this. I think this one's five by seven. Mm, nope, it is six by eight. So it's pre pre scored. I'm definitely going to use. There's a bit of a mask on it. I might not it. Mm. Do I rip it? To get the same effect, and we'll double up the grunge. Absolutely. Right, okay. Keep going. 
Wait till we might be able to salvage this one. There you go. So we'll salvage that one. And I'm not a girl that measures either. Who wants to waste time with measuring? That's not me. So, like I said, if you pull it towards you, if you do it right way, right hand, the white will be the right way. That's what I should say. I'm not worried about that big bit because it will come off. There you go. Let's tear that off. I'm going to get a little bit. Hi, Linda. Florida. Oh, I will be there in the next couple of weeks. We're looking forward to that. Okay. So, like I said, if you tear it on your right, if you're right handed and you tear right way, right sided, you will get the white on the right side. Yep. Okay. Nice bean. Denmark, well. We are a international group here. Awesome. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, probably that was a little bit too big in places. I'll just switch that down a bit. And I find that, you know, when you do cards that are too uniform, People think you bought it and throw it in the bin. If they know you've taken the time and care to make them a handmade card, they tend to keep it as a keepsake. Um, my, my stepfather was really awkward to buy for, so I used to make him a card, and he was into things like um, cowboys and Indians and that sort of thing, Elvis and... I don't know what else. We used to end up making him something specific to his likes. Um, and he passed away. Um, I found them all all bundled up in the drawer. He'd kept every single one I'd made. It was a bit embarrassing when I was just starting some of them. And then made the thought counted, and he obviously thought so too. So, Leslie, we are using um, the Taj Queen's Antique Roses. Um, there we go. I quite like that. I lost one or two of the cards, but I managed to salvage one. How's that already? Hey, Claire. I mean, can I just, just leave it like that? Happy birthday. Done. Now, I do like to work on my cards a bit. <laughs> just a little, just a little. Uh, which way we're going to go? So this one, a little bit too, a little bit too close to the edge, I think. That fit on now. Nope, oh, he's still poking it. Get rid of that one, and then we get rid of that one. There we go. And a little bit more. So you could use the tea tea dye that will not grunge it up so much, but I'm, I'm happy with this one. Sorry if I'm having them puffing. A little bit of a cold coming, I think. <clears throat> With everybody uh, in work kind of uh, 
falling down with COVID. I don't know what's going to happen. It is, Leslie. It, it is a beautiful paper. I don't know, Teresa, am I allowed to let the cat out of the bag about the, the other thing to do with the scrapbook papers? I can't remember if it's been discussed or not. There we go. I'm going to go a little darker. Okay. I'm going to go a little darker on the edges. The reason being... Just on the tips to make it look even older. There you go. So it'll stand out. Oh, see, a little bit of white. We don't know why. Throw it in there. Okay. Where's that white bit gone? Dip on the white. That's not good. Yes, I like it. Oh, right. <laughs> the minis I was talking about. Yes, okay. I can say it. <laughs> For those who do love scrapbooking and. Um, uh, we talk so much, I'm not sure what else. Yeah, okay. Um, for those who do love scrapbooking, etc., we do have the six by sixes coming out, which will be awesome for cards. And I won't have to cut up my paper. <laughs> you know how much I hate cutting my paper up, it makes me want to cry. I'm not worried what this back bit looks like. Just want to age. Oops, just want to age it. And then, oh, and a little skew. Oh, I don't know, because that's why I buy three lots. I buy one to, one to look at, one to stroke, and one to sniff. <laughs> I love the smell of new paper. That's my favourite thing in the whole world. Going into stationary shops just for the smell paper. I'm a bit sad, I know. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just going to roll the edges of these a, a little tiny bit. I don't know if you can see. I want them to stick up a little bit. So we so the minis are on their way to the UK. I know we are a bit. <laughs> I don't want it totally. I want it to look like it's peeling away. I don't want it too much because the other side isn't um, the same as this side. I can do it more on these because. I oh, quite like the background on these. I'm going to roll it maybe with some a bit bigger. Look like it's a scrolled paper. Oh, yeah, I love old books too. Although I'm not so fussed when they've been in. Somebody's house when, um, you know, they've smoked over the years. That's not so clever. There you go. You see, it's got a bit more dimension now without putting the layers on. Well, to be honest, I think I'm going to see what. Um, 
do I have any? You wipe this off, otherwise it'll go all over the back of the card. Off my hand and stick it down. I use um, a 3D gel. I don't know if you call it what you would call it for this bit. I'm just going to. Use acid and lignant free tape just to pop the bottom down. So we have another Facebook user, but I can't I can't see your name, sorry. I should have put the Facebook on to see the names, but I can't see them. Oh, not yet. I've just got my basket open, Teresa. Do, do I have to buy? <laughs> You're an enabler, you know. <laughs> Cardboard and paper glue. I wonder if I already have that <clears throat> with, a, with a different brand, you know? I'm not sure. Should have a look. Uh, I'm always worried about using um, wet glue on cards because the paper, um, although this paper is pretty good, very forgiving, um, it does warp my actual card. I tend to use e paper the right way up. How's that? Yeah, that'll do. Um, this one, I don't know if you can see, it gives a bit of body. Um, you can use sticky pads as well. I, I just prefer this. And I'm going to put a winky wonky. I like a winky wonky. Pretty sure I've got some sort of. What have I got? Some sort of happy birthday somewhere. I don't think it needs any more than that. The papers are beautiful enough to just to get away with that. Oh my God. Mm. Plenty of time to make another one. Do something a little bit more advanced, maybe. Oh my god! Typical when you when you look for one, you can't find one. And I've got a whole box full, you know, and you can't find the one you want because <laughs> these are all um. Hmm, what's the word? You know, good file. I don't think of a word. Shiny. And this is matte. So I'm going to stay with matte. Oh. I don't get well wishes. Put that on there just to, just to see what it's like with that sentiment. Glue back before it sticks everything together. Get my mat. You know, when I'm sitting here, I wish I could do these cards as quick as I've done in now. We slay for hours. Hmm. 
Thank you. How's that? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, glue for clay pieces would be a gel medium. Heavy body gel, yeah, absolutely. It would, Claire. You could even trim it with a bit of lace. <clears throat> right, so that's one down. Um, I don't know which one to use. Him. I got so many papers that I have to use. Da, da, da. <laughs> There's just so many to choose from. You have all day. Which one? <clears throat> It's not fair, I've got to cut one up. <laughs> Again. This one's in nice, uh, what do they, six by six. And I do have a eight by eight. I can build one up. Use that one and a sentiment in the middle. Sort it. Hi, Caroline. Oh, once I'm on the car trail, it's very difficult to stop. And I've got to find mixed media for weeks, so then I'll go back to my car. Oops, sorry. Big trimmer has fallen apart. Here's that. And then I got a ton of papers. Let's see if this pink is the right pink. Got to be careful with pink because, um, you know, sometimes you've got to. Pay, um, like um, a, a bluey pink. Sometimes you've got a red pink, and you mix them two together, and it looks awful. Just, just, just saying. See if I can find one. Just to. Ooh, ooh, I do have a pale pink. That's pale pink. Ooh, we could double that up again. A pale pink and pink pink. Both, I think, are blue pinks, so we're good. Oh, very pretty. Very pretty. So, just something for you to know if you use a lighter color um, as your, your initial matte, it will pick up the white or the pale pink. And I'll show you the difference. Get closer. If you use say, the white, use that way, see. It will pick up the white. And if you use the dark pink, it will pick up the dark pink. It'll draw your eye to the darker pink. There's something for you to know. Yeah, it has got a nice... Um, I thought this paper was... <laughs> this cardstock was thick. It was two pieces. I'm going to go for both. 
I left a little bit of an edge there, so I need to get that off. Oh, I think we all are not fussed around cutting our papers up. When you can make four beautiful things out of them, it's worth it. One piece of paper, you can make four cards. You know, it is worth it. Right, as I told you, I am not a measurer. Ooh, I'm pretty too. I'm just doing this side. I don't measure because I'm too lazy. There you go. And I think because I've been doing it so long, I tend to do it what we call by eye. It's not a technique. It means you look, you see, you judge. I mean, if you are one of those people who do prefer to measure, you know that your paper is six by six because it um, came from a 12 by 12 paper, so it's got to be six by six. So you could do, I'm not sure in inches what that would be, um, an eighth, you know, measure an eighth on each um, so it's an eighth, so you, it'll be a six and a quarter and then six and a half, and then they should be right. As I said, I don't measure. Yes, I do like the Paris theme too. It's quite a nice one. Claire, I don't know if you heard when we um about the six by six papers come in. That'll save us uh, cutting up our, our best papers. And I would like to keep one set for my um my twelve by twelve scrapbook, so looking forward to playing with that. I'll probably take some videos as well so that uh, and show you my progress. It's just the right. I don't think there is a right. Yes, there is a right way up, Leanne, because there's writing on it. What am I like? Mm -hmm. I don't measure. That's fine. A little bit extra, just in case. There we go, a little bit extra. And then I'm going to do the same again for the darker pink. And then I might just use a little bit of background paper on the outside. Underneath, if that makes sense. Showing sure you how to be a little bit frugal, I think, as well. There's always a <clears throat> in your card making and you're trying to make your stash cut cover. Go forever and a day. There's always tips and tricks. They come in handy for saving paper, especially when they're beautiful paper. Okay. 
Anybody else like the crunch of a guillotine? <laughs> Another sad stationary thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Nelly. So you could either keep it kind of pretty and pink and white and add some flowers and a nice sentiment across the middle or you can use <clears throat> maybe you know, more paper in the background and do a second one well, that's got stripes on it well, maybe that's not so clever i think i'm happy with the pink and white to be honest Yep, I think I'm happy with pink and white. So this is the bit larger version. I mean, that would make a fabulous um, layout. You've already got the frame there. Right, I'm going to use pads on this. It's quite a big card. <laughs> I think, keep forgetting to put everybody's um, comments up on the thing. So, so Claire says that uh, she used to be like that. Now she wants to use our plain paper for every ex extra screen. We get a lot of that with paper. Can you the support on that one? I think this would take too much of my um my gel. I think these are quite old. Still very really sticky. Really there. I've had some things just in the background, but I don't want to bombard you with too many. I mean, some people never made cards before, so I don't want to go really too complicated a piece. Mm -hmm. I think I got more different size, but I'll do. <clears throat> so, when you give something height like this. Right, I have to get up. As, you, as I said, I don't measure. Mm, roughly in the center. I don't mind. I don't even mind using, because um, this is uh, kind of less matte, because it's not grungy. I might be able to find... Um, Different sentiment. Ooh, very cool. Great grab one. That would work. Um, that's the wrong pink. I think this is what I was talking about the blue pink. So let's see if I can show you. 
it's not quite the same color pink. It's like a blue pink. It doesn't show up well on there. It's the wrong pink. The great grandma was the right pink. Right. Oh, bless you, Craft Evan. Um, I'm not that fussy. <laughs> we used to fit into my hand. Oh, how about that? Oh, it's got to be gold. It can't be the silver. That's what I want. I want that saying. Each flower is a soul blossoming out into the nature. I want that, but I want it in gold. So I don't know if I can find it. Probably is somewhere. Oh, I like the quite. I do quite like the white. I'm just going to cover that too much. I think. Will I? What do you think? What's everybody else think? I prefer the gold and the silver as well. Oh, there we are. God daughter. I've been here for ages looking for something more suitable. Even better steps. In. No, I won't do that. My poor sister gets all my cards that I make on the lives. <laughs> Can I see if she has a little surprise one day? Right. No, that's it. I'm done. I can't go looking anymore. I'm just going to get on my nerves. Oh, I'm just going to see if i got a little embellishments. Won't need much because they are very pretty cards. Oh my God. <laughs> None of those, I don't think. Too childish. Right. I do have some the same pink, I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, not a pink one. In the corners. This is where the gel comes in handy. These little things. Because it's 3D, you could use 3D gel with this as well. I just prefer to use uh, something in a, in a smaller tube. Go on with this one, give it a bit of height. I'm gonna just trim off the little tags because obviously they've been cut out of paper. And there you go. I'm just gonna round it off a bit. Not too much rounded because. Um, it's going to be straight in the middle. Yeah, I think these are these are like little cups, Claire, as well. So it's um, 
it needs to poke out a bit so they're better off with foam pads. Yeah, I know. I agree, Craft Evan. Foam pads are not forgiving at all. <laughs> Once you stick them down, oh my gosh, I'm going to get them back off. There we go. I just get um oh there you go. Oh, ribbon. Oh, sniff it. I've got a tissue hand. Not unless you count a wet wipe. I don't really count a wet wipe. Isn't that going flat? Oh. This has been used before. Well, do <laughs> this is more. There you go. I just realized it. Yes, I did. How's that? Very pretty. I got 15 minutes, I think. I might be able to up, an, up another one. Maybe just a tag. Or I could just show you what I was going to, what I'm started to do with the steampunk paper. I need to think more of that card. I'll show you what I've started with steam pen papers. I did it. Oh, thank you. Okay. Let's pinch my papers. <laughs> Somebody pinch my papers. That's the lavender collection. That will make very pretty papers too. So I've been cutting up some bits. The steampunk papers. This one's in eight six by sixes, so if you want to do a masculine card, they're very handy. I tend to have more fun doing masculine cards than female cards. Why I don't know. Well, I don't know why I'm showing you upside down. There you go. <laughs> I am a little bit clear. 
I was going to show you what I was going to do with it, but I, I'm going to make a card now. <laughs> I've got 10 minutes thereabouts. Let's just do a quick masculine one. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking. Let me just get some cardboard chips. Do some chipboard you know, pieces. And a card. I don't think I'm on a time limit, am I? There's no other lives after me. Oh, bother leaving. Using that. Using that. And we'll grunge them up. And it's already out. Nice and easy. It's quite early for us. Stop being rough, Leon. Maybe I only need one. Oh, that's okay. Let's see what two looks like. Use a bit of orange. Or red. Give it a bit of um rusty look. Oh, can I find a red uh be pinky red. Not too much. That's quite a head red. Oh, well, we have a balance. Maybe I'm gonna 
about you. Although I don't think I got one for this. What a nice new one. Rather rusty. What say you? Nice and quick, rusty look. Let's go to another green yellow. Do it with a brown. <laughs> I'll get myself in a bit of a mess. So I'm just going back in with the brown. Just make sure there's no bits I'm missing. There you go. So this is what I'm thinking. Maybe. On the background. A little bit of black, and that was, we'll see how it goes. So I'm looking for a black card. I don't think I've got the right kind of blue. I don't know where the oh, hello. It's not big enough. Oh, look, how lucky am I? <laughs> Needs be as needs must. Okay. I'm just going around the edge to make sure that the white isn't showing. Because when that shows up against the black, it won't sort of blend in. It just looks literally as if you stuck it all together. Here's me too. Oh, the, the, these are just chipboard. Um, I think they're quite old. Quite old ones. I was given them. I do like that side as well, mind. I think he's quite cute. Nice and quick. You really want to watch me doing this? <laughs> there you go. A nice quick one. And then and that's it. Not too bad. Three in one hour. Just over an hour, maybe. <laughs> So if you're up for more paper crafting, um, I'm live again on the 26th. Um, well, it was a Saturday and it might be quite early for you guys in the US, but it's, I think it's 3 p.m. What the mess is this, Leon? Right. Make sure I get rid of that mark. Oh, 
one. That's one. at least straight. Right. That's not it. Hmm. Now I need a card. What have I done with my cards? I've got straight edged. I think. Did I say seven by seven? Nope, these are eight by eight. We can either do it this way. Oh, one above, one below. What do you think? One above, one below. Nope. I'm looking both over. No, I just like one. And this is how I roll. <laughs> what about that? Mm. I don't know if I want, want anything on the back because otherwise he won't stand out. Did cut out some elements. We could just add a bit more dimension. Cause it's got you and me. Stump a bit of love in there or something. Mm -hmm. Right, that's it. One, two, three. How about that? I'm happy with that. Yeah, I don't have any of this blue. I did look for my scrapbook paper. But if you've got that kind of blue, that would be perfect. Maybe hint, hint, Teresa, we need that colour blue papers. <laughs> anyway, it's just a just an idea for you. I'm going to think more on this and I'm... You'll probably see it finished, but I'll show you the finish too. So we have that one. Very pretty. I don't normally do pretty, so I'm really, really pleased with this one. And the Grunchy Vintage Roses. Thank Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you learned a little. Maybe enough to go and buy the papers, obviously from decoupagequeen.com, or go to your nearest, uh, go onto the page retailers, and you will see the nearest one to you. I hope you all had fun. And see the... Thank you very much. See you soon. See you on the 26th. Bye.